All right, assembly step 15 is pretty easy. Um, you're going to get these smooth rods. That should be the only ones left at this point. And your last linear uh, bearings there. And you're just going to slide them through um, your, what are those, uh, Y support brackets there. And you put two on top and one on the bottom. And they want you to uh, make sure that these are level when you do it. Uh, one kind of sad part about this is it's a really tight fit. And there's remnants of uh, plastic because these are 3D printed. So as you push this through, you're going to hit little ribs in there. And they recommend you get a little hammer and tap it. So if you do that, just make sure you support this and just give it a little taps. You don't have to bang on it. You don't want to bend these rods or anything. And uh, it's just kind of time consuming. Just be gentle with it. And uh, I'll kind of pick it up after I get it done. So the trick is, is how you're going to keep those level. Um, I was thinking about little things like you could put a piece of little thin piece of wood across here that would bring them to the same height or something like that. We'll see how it goes, but um, all you have to do, well here I'll do the bottom one a little bit for you. Yeah, see it's tight right off the bat. Maybe I won't do it for you. I was going to show you tapping it in, but it looks like it's going to fight me pretty good. Um, and again, you just get your hammer there. And give it a little gentle taps there. All right, show you a couple of tips I came up with. Um, first thing is I was talking about. I just got uh, something to use as a gauge, and I just got two of these blocks and placed them right down here on both sides, and it got me in the ballpark of supposedly. Hopefully, that's level. Um, I'm sure there's got to be a way to adjust it. You could probably get away with making minor adjustments by hand turning this if you had to go up or down a millimeter on either side. Um, but the big tip I came out with, instead of banging this through with a hammer, I got myself a 15 16 drill bit. And um, you want to make sure, you know, kind of match it up, make sure it's the right size, but that's working for me. And uh, I'll kind of zoom in over here where I used it. And instead of uh, pounding away on this thing, I just put the drill bit in, and I, I didn't turn it to the right to cut, I turned it to the left. And that kind of really helped deburr it. In fact, um, there's still some, some kind of burring going on on this end. It does two things for you. Uh, it doesn't cut into the plastic, and it pushes out the um, filament that's kind of causing the trouble. And it's just this hair smaller, so now, you can kind of twist this. There you go. I don't, you probably didn't see me twisting it, but it's not rocket science. I'll back up a little bit. All they did was, uh, I just twist this rod while supporting this. And that gets me in there. And then make sure you put your bearing on. And the other side on the top went really easy. Again, I just kind of twist it. There we go. And I just make this uh, right side flush. And uh, basically, that's it for uh, step 15. All right, step uh, 16 is like probably one of the easier steps. You just see that screw right there. You just get your Allen wrench. Put it in there. Break it loose. Don't lose the screw. In fact, what I'd like to do is take it out. That's in there pretty tight. That was supposed oh, there it goes. I think this uh, extrusion head is just a little bit tight, but this is just supposed to slide right out. I think it's hanging up on that nut there. I'm going to take a 
wrench, find out why that's binding there, but that's supposed to just slide right out. Alright, I just took that little wrench there, barely even, I gave it like a quarter turn. And it, it was just catching a little bit on that. And I would recommend just putting this screw right back in. Right now, so you don't lose it. There you go. And with that, uh, that completes step 16. Okay, in uh, step 17, you're going to find a little bag, and in the bag you're going to find these parts here. Also, they threw in some, sometimes they do this, they put in extra stuff that you don't know what's for, like some little rubber bands in there. I don't know if those are for anything. Um, anyhow, also it said that there was going to be 6 to 8 washers. I got more like 10, so don't be shocked. At least it's better to have too many than not enough. So first thing I want you to look at is your extruder and I took off this piece, it just unscrews, the whole block unscrews. I took it off just so I wasn't fighting with all those wires. Um, and that's that set screw right there that um, I said put back in so you don't lose. I don't know if it's needed later on or not, um, but don't you know that's where it's at. So that might interfere, I don't know. but. First thing you want to do is just grab uh, these two long screws here. Those are um, M345s, and you're just going to put two washers on each of them. Okay, so I kind of pre-positioned this stuff. Um, there's the little cutouts for the screws. In fact, there's only the screw sides are going to go down. And on the uh, extruder, you got your button here, and it's going to be on your top. And I don't know if there's any easy way to do this. Just kind of do it. Now this has a, a little um, bow to it, so I'm kind of making it bow to the outside. Also, um, see how these wires, those go on the side, and I believe, oh, you know what, I think I am missing a fan, let me, let me check something real quick, I'll be right back, yeah, I was missing the fan there, so, if you look at the fan, it's got little, um, cutouts on this side for the screws, and it's flat on that, this side, and uh, your wires are going to face up and your sticker to the back, so it's going to go like this. Um, just take your wire guard deal, drop it to the bottom. Alright, so screws on the bottom, wire on top. Just going to drop those in there. Slide it into the heat sink screw holes. Then you're going to take out the screw. So here's your button up here. Oop, got to check something out. I wonder if I'm supposed to take this one out too. Uh, let me check that. Definitely this one comes out. Yeah, so this part's going to be a bit of a balancing act. Uh, I might not even shoot it, just to explain it. So you're going to take these screws out. And it's spring loaded, and that's kind of part of the problem here. And the idea is... Yeah, see it's already kind of misaligning. Set these aside.
and then you have to kind of like balance this and drop the these guys in so I'll give it a shot here luckily they made the Allen wrench the same size on these Oh, it might be. You can see the challenge is trying to line up the holes and get the stuff in there without the whole thing exploding on you. Anyways, I think... Oh, it might have got it. It's not together, but I got it enough together to where you can see what you're going to do there. So then I'm just going to tighten that all up before it blows up there. Okay, uh, I just finished up by just uh, gently screwing that extruder back in. And uh, I noticed that the, the button on top will put tension on the head of this uh, extruder. And I'm not sure how far you should take it in or out. So what I did is I just put it in until it started bumping up into that and uh, just enough tension to where it doesn't spin around. Um, you'll probably have to adjust that later. Another thing I wanted to point out is on these screws, this that fan's plastic and there's a gap right there and there. So you don't want to screw these down there so tight that it starts bowing. In fact, I just backed it off um, by pressing on the top of the button. You kind of relieve pressure a little bit. And I just put them in just snug enough to where they're holding that fan cover on there. Because you got to remember too, that's going to get really hot. So you're going to have a lot of expansion and contraction of the different materials at different rates. And so if you button that down super tight, you're probably going to get some bending and warping and cause it to degrade uh, quicker over time. So my suggestion is just put those in just tight enough to where it holds it. You don't want it like bending that plastic or anything. Um, that... The only other thing I can think of is just kind of remember those screws came out of this setup so you won't be wondering why you have screws left over. And uh, with that, you are done with step number 17.